Hey guys, it's Bernardo from the BTN HD, and today is all about upgrading your SCCM 1806 to SCCM 1810. Uh, it's a step by step guide, so let's get started. So, first things first, within my environment, I like to start up the Configuration Manager Service Manager and make sure the following three services or components are up and running. Uh, the first one is the Manager Update. So, I like to right click on it and just query it. And just make sure it's running and the next one would be the SMS DMP downloader same thing just right click on it query it and the last one would be the DMP uploader right click on it and do a query and run it uh, within my environment this is this is what I like to do within my environment just make sure those three components are up and running and then I could continue now within your SCCM console if you go inside administration Overview, updates, and servicing. Uh, most likely, you won't see the new uh, SCCM update, which is 1810. Uh, what you could do is click on Check for Updates, and you're going to get this nice little dialog box. You can click OK and just wait. Uh, you could constantly click on Refresh <laughs> and just wait. It's, it's basically a waiting game. It, it took a while for my SCCM server to get the 1810, but eventually it will show up. Now, a couple of things that you could do on your SCCM to make sure that you receive 1810, and you could do the following. Now, within administration, you can go inside site configuration. And within site configuration, you want to go in servers and site system roles. And from there, you want to go inside service connection point. Right click on it, go to properties, and just make sure you have this particular setting enabled. Now, if your service connection point is online, uh, you clicked on check for updates, you constantly refresh, you rebooted your server, and you still do not see the Configuration Manager 1810 update. The next thing that you could do is you could download a PowerShell script within the TechNext site. Uh, and it's I think it's called the Fast Ring 1810 or something. You could run it, it will automatically push down the SCCM 1810 update onto your machine. Now, if everything works well, you're gonna get this status, it's downloading. And once the downloading is done, you're going to get a ready to install. Uh, that's a good thing. Now, what you could do is right click on it. Uh, you get two options. You have install or run the prerequisite. Uh, for this video, I actually ran the prerequisite and it's running. And the way that you could check is click on show status and it's going to take you here. And you could highlight this guy and right click on it, show status, and you're going to see that it's downloaded and it's in the replication stage. And eventually it's going to start doing the installation stage. It's not going to install it. But what it's doing right now is making sure that you have your SCCM is in the correct version as well as your secret database and everything else. Now, if everything works well, you haven't had any problems. If you do have problems like warnings or errors, just fix them before you push out the update. For me, uh, I got the state of prerequisite check passed. So that's a good thing, right? So once it passes, you can right click on it and install update pack. Got the nice little wizard. You are able to ignore any prerequisite checks warnings, but I didn't get any warnings or errors, right? When I ran the prerequisite check, everything passed. So that was a good thing. So click on next. Uh, you are able to enable uh, additional features for the new package. Uh, if you do not enable anything here, you can always go back inside administration, overview, uh, expand updates and servicing, and just go inside features and enable uh, the update pack feature, okay? Uh, then click next. You have two options here. I left it as the default with upgrade without validating. Click next again, accept the license and terms, and then click next. Nice little summary, next again. It's gonna start working, and eventually, if everything works well, you get this, which is a good thing. And then you close it. And the state column is going to start saying checking for prerequisite, which is pretty strange because uh, it, it, it already checked, it passed. I don't know why it's checking again, but whatever. And eventually, the state is going to change to installing. That's a good thing. What you could do is highlight the configuration 1810, click on show status and you can right click on uh, the status right here and I received an error not an error but a warning which is strange because when I ran the check it passed it did not give me any warnings but regardless if I had a warning it's still going to install so what I did was I located the error 
and it looks like I need to download the native client for my SQL database, which I'm running 2014, and I have to make plans to upgrade it to uh, something a little better because 2014 eventually is going to be obsolete for the SCCM world. Now, I will provide the link for this, so do not worry. So if you do get that error, you are able to click on the link at the bottom, and it will take you here. You want to go all the way to the bottom on the page and locate your uh, SQL database. For me, it was... Uh, this one right here, the native client for 2012 and 2014. So I clicked on that, took me to this page. I clicked on download and I downloaded the 64 bit. I clicked on 64 bit and I clicked on next. And from here, I clicked on the little arrow, save as, and I, I saved it inside the desktop. Okay. Now the browser that you choose is going to do a little different. If it's Chrome, it's automatically going to download it right here on the lower left side. If it's Firefox, it's going to do it on the upper right side. Okay. I'm using Internet Explorer, so it gave me an option to where I wanted to save it. So I saved it on the desktop. Click save, and you're done. And this is it right here. Now I I should have ran this on the spot. But I just let the SCCM 1810 installation happen, let it do its thing, and then install it, and then do a reboot on your server, okay? So, go grab a cup of coffee, go grab lunch, go troubleshoot some tickets or whatever, or update some servers. Uh, come back, and then you are able to click the refresh button, and eventually you're going to get this dialog box. That means you're halfway there, about, I would say, 90% done with the SCCM uh, upgrade. Uh, you are able to click close. Don't freak out. The SCCM console will close up. But for me, I always get this problem. It's really weird. It looks like the SCCM console did not close successfully. If you click on retry, it will start doing this thing and start downloading the files that it needs to start the installation or upgrade your console. So don't freak out. And then it's going to start doing this. And then I started receiving this a couple of times. It started saying that... Uh, the configuration manager utility service manager needed to be closed. Uh, I chose automatically close the application and attempt to restart them after the setup is completed. I clicked on OK, but then it popped up twice until it, it finally got rid of it. So, you know, keep that in mind. So eventually, if it when it disappears, you get this and then your SCCM console will load up automatically. Uh, this is a great thing. Now, the way that you could check is if you go inside administration, overview, update and servicing, and you will see that your configuration manager 1810 underneath the state column it says install. You are able to click on the upper left side on a little tab right here and go to about configuration manager, and you will see that you are running version 1810. Console version has also changed, which is a great thing. Okay. Now, next thing that we need to do is once you upgrade your SCCM server in your console, we need to get into software library, overview, uh, application management, packages, and you have to make sure that these two packages right here are up to date. Now, I started doing this tutorial for you guys on November 30th. So as you can see on the screenshot right here, this guy matched the date, 1130th. That's when I was basically finished with the upgrade. And on this one right here, same thing, 1138, 408. So both of them are up to date. And the green right here is a good thing. Okay, so make sure that it is uh, synced up correctly and then it's green for success that it's updated. Okay, next thing that we need to do is get inside operating system. And within operating system, we're going to uh, expand that node, go inside boot images, and we need to upgrade our boot image. Now, the only image that I'm going to upgrade is the 64-bit. I'm going to highlight it, right-click on it, and then go to Update Distribution Point. Now, from the wizard right here, make sure you check this off. Reload the boot image with your current Windows PE version from the Windows ADK. Check that off. Click Next. Nice little summary. Next. It's going to start doing its thing. And when everything is done, green check marks, and you can close it. And then you can see underneath the client right here, the client number will change, which would be 8740, I believe. If you highlight the boot image, you will see right here on the summary, the content status is going to be in progress. So just give it some time, and eventually it's going to go all green, and that means it's all synced up. Now, the next thing that I did was I, I kind of minimized my SCCM console. 
I went inside the desktop and it was time for me to install the Siku native client. Uh, regardless, I got a warning, the installation still, you know, was successful. So that's a good thing, but I still need that client in case I get any more problems in the future. I right clicked on it, clicked on install. It basically gave me a warning that a lower version of this product has been detected on your system. Would you like to upgrade your existing installation? I, I clicked on yes. Uh, I click next again. I accept the license and terms. Next. Uh, I left it as the default. Next. I clicked on install. It started installing. And eventually, if everything goes well, you're going to get this successfully completed. Click on finish. And then it gives you an option to hit yes or no to restart. Click yes to restart your machine. Uh, make sure your SCCM console is closed. Everything is closed. Uh, and then you're good to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the step-by-step -step guide on how to upgrade your current SCCM 1806 to 1810. I will provide you about two or three reference links at the bottom of the description. If I forget, uh, please leave comments right below and kind of harass me and say, hey Bernardo, what are the links? You're probably saying to yourself, what links? One link is going to give you a breakdown of what 1810 is all about. The uh, second link is going to be the requirements. And the third link is going to be the PowerShell script in case 1810 does not show up and you guys want to play around with it. Uh, you are able to run this PowerShell script to automatically get it as soon as possible, right? Uh, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.